Hey there, my name is Sam. Uh, I'm a digital artist. I make VRChat avatars, uh, characters, other assets online. And I wanted to do a little tutorial about how to take a VRChat avatar and create a Rigify control rig, um, which is very useful. So uh, just to visually show you, I have this humanoid character here as a VRChat rig. And this is the Rigify rig I made from that avatar. Um, so just to show you, everything is fully rigged. It's using the same deformations as the VRChat avatar, um, but it's just kind of ready to go. This would be very useful if you're making animations of your character or perhaps other people's characters. Um, but yeah, so this is using an add-on called XP, XPI retargeting. Um, so it's a little cluttered right here, but let me show you their website. So this is a GitHub, and I'll, of course, link this down below, but this is the GitHub here uh, containing the add-on. So you just go to this site, download it, um, and uh, it has a lot more uses outside of just what I'm going to be going over today. Um, but this was a super quick process once I, I knew what to do, um, and uh, I think you'll get a lot of, lot of use out of it as, out of it as well. <laughs> All right, so once you download this add-on and install it, so first you download the zip file, and then you go to add -on, Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and you install, search your project for that zip file, click it, install. Um, you'll also want to have Rigify installed, and that is a default Blender plugin. I think all you'll have to do is just search it here and turn on Rigify. This is what will allow us to create the Rigify rig. Um, now, once those two add-ons are installed, X, XPy Kit and Rigify, uh, that's pretty much all you need. Uh, these are the only two add-ons I'll be using today. Uh, and then once you do that, you are given uh, this little tab down here in your main viewport and this menu here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that, I think. How do I clear it? Clear all, there we go. Okay, so the first step is tedious, but it's not too bad. Everything's kind of laid out as you might expect, but basically what you're doing is you're going to create a preset. So I already have mine, this VR chat one, and it uses all of my bones. I'm basically just assigning them, just like you would a Unity humanoid in um, Unity, you can You'll fill out these spots as I have them here with your bones. So uh, just as you're looking for, we have the shoulder.r for the shoulder bone in the right uh, socket. And then uh, upper arm, lower arm, hand, uh, you do all the major spine elements, head, neck, chest, spine, and hips. There's no spine one. I believe you can just ignore that. It'll work just fine this way. And then, of course, all the leg bones. Um, you can put in the hips here as well, but you already have it right here. Um, I would just leave that one blank because this is what's worked for me. <laughs> uh, then you also do want to include the face. Uh, I think for most VR chat models, you're just going to have the eye bones. Uh, you can include a jaw bone as well. I don't have one, but you may. And then the longest part of this will be including all of your fingers. So again, you're just dragging and dropping. You can always just search it, finger, thumb, R, and then just put it in there that way. That's probably the quickest way. I don't even think there's such a thing as drag and dropping in Blender, so you will just be searching them. But anyway, uh, once you've done that, you want to select your avatar. So I'll just show you from scratch. I select my skeleton, and then I select VRChat01. And now I have assigned this. Let me think about that. Actually, I, I take that back. Once you've, you want to create your preset and assign it. So once you've filled out each of your slots here, uh, so for the fingers, eyes, all of these slots here, you want those filled out and then you want to create a preset by hitting plus. So just as an example, I'll create another one, VRCJT02. This is the second VRChat preset I'm making. Um, and then you're good to go. You've created the preset you need for the next step. 
And all that involves is going into pose mode with your rig selected, control tab. I'm now in pose mode. And then you can right click here and open up the pose context menu. Again, that was just a right click. Uh, watching some of the other tutorials, it took me a little bit of time to figure out that it is the right click that does that. And then you notice at the bottom, there are these XP kit options. Um, so you can convert all the names, uh, do, do quite a bit of different things, uh, but we want to focus on this extract meta rig option. Um, so once I click that, I will use my preset that I just made, VRChat02, and using that, it will create a, uh, a meta rig. Um, actually, let me, let me control Z back up. Right click, conversion, extract meta rig. I think I can just go, no, okay, that is what I want. Okay, so sorry for the confusion there. But now that I've done that, it has created a meta rig. I'm just isolating that meta rig right here. Um, and it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. Uh, I consistently had this little bug here where the finger breaks, um, but that's a very easy fix, especially if you have a symmetrical skeleton. In order to fix this, I'm gonna hit tab. And I'm gonna go in and select this bone here, uh, delete it, and then that was the uh, was that the ring, middle finger on the right hand. So now we'll go over to the left hand, select the middle finger here, ease bones, and then just do armature, symmetrize. So now we've we've got those bones back and everything's looking good. And you can pretty much do that for anything that might be uh, tweaked a little funny. The only other change we're going to do is for the eyes. Um, so VR chat. Technically, a, in VR chat or Unity, a zeroed out bone in Unity means it's pointing up, but for a meta rig, uh, they you'll want them pointing forward. So all we need to do for that, go back into edit mode for our meta rig here. I'm just going to select this point, make sure symmetry is on, so it applies it to both sides, and then you can just rotate. You can, okay, and we actually have to put the cursor here, then set it to cursor, and then we should be able to rotate the whole bone, 0.6, right, set this to 3D cursor. This can be left on global, global, 3D cursor, rotate it 90 degrees, I'm just holding control to make it snap nicely, and bam, now they are facing forward. All right, so this is a, a meta rig. This will allow us to click one button using the Rigify add-on. We can go here and just hit Regenerate Rig uh, with this selected. Um, and once we do that, Regenerate Rig, uh, I'm gonna unisolate now so I can see the full scene. And you'll see we have our control rig. Now currently, oh, it's just ready to go. Okay, and then it automatically assigned it. Perfect. There we go. So this is a process I just found, as you can clearly tell. I'm a little unused to all the ins and out of it. Um, but now that we've done that, we can go into pose mode and begin to move things around. Um, it's quite useful, I think, for animations and stuff. Um, you can get a lot of use out of this. I imagine that... Uh, this will save, save you quite a bit of time. Um, if your character has tails, ears, or other objects that you'd want to animate, uh, you'd probably want to set up another set of bones, use an IK constraint, and then just create some simple controls for it. Uh, if you'd like, uh, let me know. If you'd like a, uh, a tutorial for that, please just comment, like the video, etc., all that jazz um, as well. This character here is a base model that I am selling. I will post a link for that down below. Um, but if you'd like to purchase this base model, you could do so as well. But anyway, that's pretty much it. From this point on, you're just, uh, you, you could leave the meta rig in your scene, this guy, or you can delete him, whatever you'd like to do, but you now have all you need for this character.
Anyway, please again hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I'll go ahead and post this right now, and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye!